We have a guy I'm inviting in right now. Time to wash all this filthy news off of us. And uh, I do it every night at 6.30. My statement right now is I I can't right now. I got to wash the day off. I'm going to talk to the inventor and designer of one of the coolest things in California. Literally, it's on the list of one of the 16 coolest things in California. What am I talking about? Well, that's my tease. We'll talk to the inventor and designer next. This is the Trevor Carey Show on the Valley's Power Talk. I'm going to say in almost the uh, the, the eight years I've been here, uh, Squires, you've been here, what, four, five, four? Wouldn't you say maybe two or three times sales has come and said, hey, we'd really like for you to push something, right? I think it's very rare is what I'm saying. And I've said no at times. Uh, they didn't come to me with this. I'm coming to you out of my pure enjoyment that I want to share with a uh, he's a, he's a sponsor of the show, David Nalcom, sir. High Sierra Showerheads, David. Welcome in, man. Hi, Trevor. Glad and, to be here. Uh, it's something that I do every day now, sometimes twice on the weekends. Now I've been known to do it uh, three times. And you, you commented about low flow, and he he texted me this the other night when I was saying we had a misunderstanding. He thought something was wrong with it. I was going, <laughs> no, I'm staying. I, I'm the reason that it's not. Uh, I'm staying in there so long, it feels so good. And you said, with conventional low flow, you got to stay in the shower longer just to rinse off. With high Sierra, you stay in longer because it feels good. That's right. (laughs) It does. Now, it's kind of hard, trouble describing hard water to others. You're the inventor. Describe what that means. Because I've... It almost looks like a coloring book with the raindrops that come down. That's the best way I can kind yeah. of do it. What about you? It, it's kind of hard to visualize, but it's really not hard water. What we're doing is colliding two streams of water together inside of a nozzle. And that collision is creating this perfectly cone-shaped spray of heavy droplets. And they're most like rain, except they're focused into this cone. And so it comes out with a lot of energy. And it uh, needs a lot of energy to be able to, you know, rinse the shampoo out of your hair. And we're able to do it with very low flow. Now, you were on the 16 coolest inventions in California, and you yeah. thought you would have won if uh, you have a new addition on here. And listen, guys, I don't know how to describe it. I, I said hard, but you said heavy. That's that's really what it is. It, yeah. It's like heavy. heavy water because there are so many splitter, splatter showers. And if you travel to a motel, sometimes you'll get a decent one. Sometimes, But all of them have that at the end of the spray, that splattery feeling. And as you move your hands closer to the where it's coming out, it might be more forceful. Yours, it, it, how you do it is you can almost hold your hand up to the shower heads because I have two. We'll you explain can. that later. Mm-hmm. Uh, hold it up, and it's almost like a workout a little bit. That's 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 the best way I can describe it. Pushing back against that flow. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's it's a full cone spray of heavy droplets with a lot of energy, and it's really, in our opinion, the best way to create a low flow shower head. So all the other shower heads that are out there are really just modified versions of high flow shower heads that we used to enjoy many years ago. And they just make the nozzle smaller. Maybe there's fewer streams of water. And it just makes it more difficult to enjoy a good shower when it's hitting you and stinging you. If there's any state that needs a good shower, isn't it horrible? I, you know, I've lived back east and in Buffalo area. It's like a water hose from a fire department that would come out here. And then you come out to California and it's like, you know, this is a summer, a little spring rain sprinkle that they allow (laughs) to come out. So with everything that you're going through in your life, uh, if, uh, this actually is, is something else. It, It truly is. And explain that. And he, you're probably outside of the guys at work. That's a restroom. You're probably the only guy I've been alone with in a bathroom. <laughs> uh, David came over and installed it in my bathroom at home and uh, explained the double shower thing because normally I've, I've had the Amazon ones, right, uh-huh. where you hook it up, but only the shower thing would work or only the handheld would work, at, you know, yeah. 50-50. Right. You couldn't have them both on at the same time. But this you can. Oh. and. 
they can and what i do is i i with my hands i go down and i feel okay where's the shower flow from the main shower there then i direct the nozzle up to where it's barely touching that flow and that gives a massive yeah shower flow so right. there's yeah there, am we, i describing that right you are Did anybody we, picture that i hope you could <laughs> we have two different combination kits two different combination kits one is a three-way which that's the one that you can only run one at a time and the other one is a four-way that's the one i installed in your bathroom and you can run both you can run one or the other or both at the same time and get full flow and it does and when you hit pause on one the other one doesn't increase it stays no. consistent and then the other one will stay consistent and that's you can right. choose either or right. and if you have i'm going to say right now i would never do this because I, I i don't have animals and if i did i'd wash them outside in a tub but there are people that uh will wash them in their bathtub and if you do go ahead this should, with that nozzle boy i could come down and just wash any any animal in there yeah yeah and because it's a comfortable spray it's not going to scare them it's not, you know, like it, like if it was a very coarse, harsh spray, it's going to scare an animal or a child. But our sprays are not soft, but they're not hard. It's like the Goldilocks of shower heads. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it is. And that handheld thing that uh, you, you told me that you had a gun designer, and I understand why now uh, that handheld shower thing is very not cheap, plasticky whatsoever. Right. The only non-metal part in the handheld shower head is our rubber grip and we source that locally from a company called Ezer products and one of the products that they make is are uh, these grips for pistols um, and uh, we use that on our shower heads and it's tough it's not going to slip off so many people are hesitant to add the rubber grip to uh, to our handhelds they can order it from our website like that you can build your own shower head on our website and add the rubber grip and people are hesitant to add the rubber grip because of bad experiences that they've had with rubber grips uh, made by other companies and they're usually soft and spongy and uh, fall apart after a short period of time whereas uh, these ones that uh, we have sourced locally are uh, not going to slip off and they're not going to uh, deteriorate over time you go to highsierrashowerheads.com and it looks like you're like a national organization that David <laughs> runs as maybe a franchise out of here or something. Because you sell all over. I mean, you're doing well. You're, oh, you're, we do. Yeah, we uh, we sell on Amazon in addition to our website. We also, we've been uh, experimenting with uh, uh, retail in Oakhurst. And the, uh, the owner of the True uh, Ace Hardware in Oakhurst has been very kind to us and allowed us to set up a, a display of our shower heads in his store and we're giving that, that a try to see how that works for us i think mark cuban is asking how much it costs you yeah. to make that's what i i feel like hey we're now in ace hardware stores yeah. that's a that, that sounds like a story <laughs> from shark tank man it, yeah. it does david you built this up well and uh, were you like designing and building things as a kid were you one of those guys not or? really when, when did no. you decide you were going to start well i followed my dad into um into the irrigation business. He was a design engineer for Rainbird, designing sprinklers. And in the 1960s, brought our family up to Fresno. He uh, got a job as a chief engineer at Buckner Sprinklers. And then he later on started his own company, uh, making sprinklers here in Fresno. So you sat around as a kid at the table and heard how water comes out the end of, <laughs> end of things. He, and now you're in the business of so, how the water comes out of the end of so, things. So, right? and, and, you know, back in those years, it was, uh, there, there were no child labor laws <laughs> so our dad, how many hours were you working? oh yeah on, on weekends we'd work at the plant uh i was maybe 11 years old and uh, uh building sprinklers so well, i've think, been around I, this my whole life child labor laws i think the reason i'm short is my dad at the age of 10 i'd go in on weekends at the radio stations where he was the general manager of and i would bulk erase carts magnetic these carts radio used like eight tracks and that magnetism, I think, during my growth time, I should, I think it stunted it. So, child labor laws, I think we both, uh, we can go back, right? We'll go back and take them all to court. Uh, no. Listen, uh, there's really not a gift outside, I would say, a new car or, I don't, 
know what a year supply of of toilet paper uh, that you would think of the person every day right the shower is one of those gifts i'm going to say mm-hmm. that people would remember you every day but here's the thing high sierra showerhead.com uh what's the price of these just give me the range give them the range because people want to know that right out the gate well they start at 40 and then up to between two and three hundred dollars depending on the kit depending on the finish we have a lot of options that people can add to these things and you'll just send it you'll mail it right out to them right it come through amazon or do you is it better to go through you do you make more let me just ask you that then oh yeah all right then (laughs) we're gonna say go to high sierra showerheads.com right we right and we do have uh uh, discounts uh, you know because of thanks thanksgiving and black friday and all that and then we have the trevor 20 discount that will go on beyond uh, Black Friday will continue on through the end of December. David, we had a uh, conference room meeting of all the radio station people all in there. And before it started, we were all just talking back and forth. And I was talking about the shower head and we were talking about it. And now I've Trevor 20 has now been shouted around the <laughs> station a few times. It really has now. I was, I did the pitch right in there and that, that's why I'm saying, Hey, this would be a good, uh, a good gift for, for anybody. And you can send it to anybody across the country. Uh, David, any, anything you want to say in the end here, man, I appreciate you coming in because this is a cool thing. Yeah. Well, you mentioned that contest that we were in and I believe that we would have won if the, uh, if my, uh, fog free mirror uh, we're gonna have to stop this. We're in California. We have an election denier. Uh, and you're saying, <laughs> yes, you would have won. I think we would have uh, won. Would have won. I, okay, I'm gonna Wait, go. Ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and 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 let. That's true, because it's true. Okay, you can say it then. Go ahead. So we have this new product that's coming out, and it'll be available before Christmas, so in December, and it's a, it's a, um, fogless mirror, a fogless mirror shower head okay and this is this is it right here and i'm showing here trevor that looks like a really big cd it's it's a silver big metal what is it awesome let let me feel it because i no that's what i have don't i no no i don't have this you have that no you have the half dome okay yeah so that is a fogless mirror and with that so this has to be people that want to see themselves naked though you can see yourself. I'd rather or, fog. I got the also, fog over but, one. Do but, I? Well, th- that doesn't fog over either, but you can't really. It's, it's not going to reflect. Hey, you know what? You can shave. That's what you can do with this. Yes. Bingo. Can, right yeah, there. Yeah. You can shave in the shower. And this you mirror. See if you have nose hair. Yeah. This mirror. Eyebrow mirror, look. Eyebrow look. Yeah. I get it. It's made out of aluminum and the hot water heats it up. The hot water heats up the mirror and it cannot fog over. So everything, no matter how steamy it is in your bathroom, all the mirrors in your bathroom right. are going to be fogged over. Did you design that? This shower, yes, I did. Yeah, and this shower, this mirror will not be fogged over, and you'll be able to shave with it and you know do whatever you want with it, but it will not fog over. Hey, put in Trevor twenty, get twenty percent off. Thanks, Dave. Have a happy Thanksgiving, and I want you to give the website in closing here. Go. Okay. Hi, Sierra Showerheads.com. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. This is-